you've probably seen one before. Several obesity-related health campaigns have been appearing throughout the U.S. While the intentions are good, many have come under fire for reinforcing stigmatization of obese people. Mom, why am I fat? While this has been covered in the mainstream media, there hasn't been research addressing whether negative or positive campaigns make more of a difference in motivating lifestyle changes. So Dr. Rebecca Poole, Director of Research and Weight Stigma Initiatives at the Yale Rudd Center, decided evidence was needed on the topic. There tends to be this public perception that maybe stigma will somehow motivate individuals to engage in weight loss efforts or provide an incentive for them to become healthier. But what we see is actually the opposite is true, that when people are made to feel stigmatized or shamed about their weight, they're actually more likely to engage in behaviors that make weight loss more difficult, such as increased food consumption, binge eating behaviors, and avoidance of physical activity. Now, despite the evidence of the harmful consequences of stigma, the fact remains is that weight bias is present in some campaigns to address obesity. And the question becomes whether we are promoting stigma or supporting behavior change. And as we started to look into the literature on this topic, we were surprised at how little assessment and testing has occurred with respect to obesity campaigns that have been implemented. And that's really what led us to do this study. The study's 1,085 participants were randomly assigned to view 10 obesity-related health campaigns. The participants either observed 10 campaigns that were publicly criticized for stigmatizing obese people, or 10 campaigns that were more neutral in content. They then evaluated each campaign and rated to what extent each stigmatized obese people were motivating for improving lifestyle behaviors and promoted self-efficacy. The main findings of the study is, first of all, that campaigns that are viewed to be stigmatizing of obese individuals are no more likely to instill motivation for improving lifestyle behaviors compared to neutral campaigns. What's also interesting is what the study found regarding how the visual content of the campaigns made people feel. In fact, stigmatizing campaigns were rated to induce less self-efficacy for behavior change, and they were also rated as having less appropriate visual content. What was striking is that these findings remained consistent regardless of participants' own body weight and also across sociodemographic characteristics. By understanding this, it lays the foundation for better campaigns in the future. Our study also offers several examples of obesity-related health campaigns that are perceived to be both motivating for health behavior change and instilling higher self-efficacy for behavior change. And what was noteworthy in these campaigns is that they all promoted health behaviors that people can engage in regardless of their body weight. And in fact, they made no mention of obesity at all, nor did they even depict images of people who are obese. Poole concluded that these results highlight the need to carefully select so language and visual really content highlight used the in obesity-related health campaigns. consideration and selection of the language and visual content that are used in obesity-related campaigns. And it does provide support for efforts to portray people who are obese in a non-stigmatizing manner. And this is noteworthy in light of public perceptions that stigma is somehow necessary to raise awareness of obesity or provide incentive for weight loss. To learn more about weight stigma, food policy, and obesity, visit www.yalerudcenter.org.